have Chief Sawyer, Police Department. All by yourself tonight? All by myself tonight. Actually, I'm here on behalf of Special Olympics New Hampshire to ah. present the uh, uh, 17th Annual Penguin Plunge and the 8th Annual High School Plunge. <laughs> and those are going to be conducted on Saturday, February 6th and Sunday, February 7th. If you're familiar with the event, I, I think a lot of people are here in town. Uh, the benefits uh, of these events go to support the athletes of Special Olympics New Hampshire. And... The plan is the same that we've experienced over the last several years. Uh, our plan is to detour traffic off of Ocean Boulevard northbound down um, H Street and H Street back up to D Street and D Street back northbound onto Ocean Boulevard. Uh, we'll have those traffic control points manned by police officers of the Hampton Police Department on paid detail, uh, being paid by Special Olympics New Hampshire, also working the security for the event. Um, I'm proud to announce that uh, for the high school event, currently we could uh, use a little help. Winnicott is number three in the state for uh, fundraising for uh, the high school plunge, and they've raised over $9,000 so far for 283 donors. And locally, the number two fundraiser is a re local resident, Kevin Rush. Kevin's been a longtime plunger, and he and his family have raised over the history of the event in the vicinity of $75,000 wow. um, over the course of their participation. So it is a local event, but it's also a lot of local participants, so we would encourage, uh, obviously, with the, the board's uh, discretion to uh, hold the event on some of the town property for people to come down and support a great charity. And I'll entertain any questions. Okay, questions. No Mr. questions. Waddell? I'm sure you do a great job. You always do. Mr. Bridal. No, the police department does a great job. They've, all, they've sponsored this, or not sponsored, but supported it for many years. Okay. And we do get good, uh, just to uh, be remiss if I didn't mention Hampton Fire and Rescue, uh, coordinate our safety efforts down in the water and on the sand, and we also get great support from Public Works during our setup phase. So I want to make sure those folks get mentioned. And congratulations to the, the folks that did the kids over to Winnicott for the money they raise. It's really taken off. Last year was the first year that we had more high school participants on Saturday than we did on the uh, adult side. So wow. the high school kids are really getting enthusiastic about it. So it's starting to take Mrs. over. Mrs. Wolseley. No, thank you. You've, you've put in for good weather for that day, though. I'm praying. Well, I'm not going in the water, so it really doesn't affect me that much. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Mr. Bean. Chief, great job, great leadership. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, this is one of the best uh, things that I think happens here in Hampton. And <clears throat> I think that the police department's always done an outstanding job uh, backing this whole thing up and um, being the front person, you know, being the, the main go-to group that's connected with it, right? They're very good. Uh, Special Olympics is very good at all of their events. They try to make a connection to the community through police and fire and the number of events they sponsor, and they, they really try to embrace the community for all the support they get. And then I just can't say that uh, the proudest thing I am of that it, is it's one of those charities where the money stays in the state of New Hampshire, goes to New Hampshire athletes. It does not get funneled off to any other organizations, and they're their ratios are one of the best in the in the uh, areas of charity. And if I'm not mistaken, it was around six hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars last year. I believe that is right. So I think it was just a little north of there. I think it was close to the six eighty, but I'd uh, have to check that. And that I believe was a record. So hopefully you'll have another record. I'm for hoping. Next year. Good weather. Uh, it's unfortunate the Patriots won't be in the Super Bowl, but that'll give more people more time to come down yeah. and spend some time <laughs> at the beach. Great. Thank okay. you. Before he leaves, Mr. Chairman, can we just ask you your video system for the station? Where are you on that? I was pawing through the purchase orders, but I didn't see the video system. We have not uh, begun any research on that yet because I wanted to sit down with the manager to make sure which di direction we're going as far as the actual number oh, that we're going to have to okay. utilize. So we have not gone of those items that were on warrant articles that are being purchased yeah. out, out of the surplus. I just had that video system. Nope, going. it's it's coming. It's the top priority. The other things can wait um, as soon as we get the uh, conversation going with the manager. Uh, We'll get that going. Okay. I'll give, you an update. I'll give you an update as soon as I can. See, you got me worrying about it. Thank uh, you. I would worry about it. It's a very liability-conscious uh, move for us to make. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.